So welcome back. I'm Famamara and this is a continuation of the first video or recording that I shared of God raising an army of unusual soldiers to win a war the perfect soldiers could not win. And this is us, the second part. How they lost in their mission. The perfect soldiers. Haven't you noticed that a lot of strong, perfect men of God end up having children who don't fear God? It's like their children are the opposite of what they stand for. Unfortunately, this is a seed the devil starts to sow at a very young age. I will explain it to you. A lot of parents try to force Christianity into their children with fear. Let me give you a perfect scenario with my own upbringing. I came from a family where church in the church is considered a sin to have male friends, wear trousers, make your hair with anything that's not rubber thread, use lip gloss, or even wear some kind of perfume. Doesn't any dress that is not long or puffy is sinful. And so many more and a lot of our parents try to force this lifestyle in us by all means I remember when I was uh, I was younger in school if I tried to refuse something or question some standard my dad will threaten not to send me money I'm still going to talk about this topic in a se- separate uh, video or podcast so in a bid to please him not God I will do or live the way he wants me to live but does this lifestyle last no because once the child becomes independent and you have no more control over what's the what he or she does what is that child going to or what are you going to hold on that child again rather than using this approach you can do this focus your energy on making your child know God personally and have personal relationship with him knowing him for who he is and not what they say he is using the Bible as a yastic for direction and stop imposing laws into Christianity. A child should understand I am a queen and I deserve to dress decent as a queen. I am a diamond and we all know diamonds cannot be picked on the ground else they won't be called precious stones. For some reasons, diamonds are called precious stones. You can't get a diamond just on the floor. For you to get a diamond, you will have to dig deep into rock to find it. So because my body is that precious, for it to be seen, the person has to go through a lot of layers, which includes God, knowing since my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, it does not belong to me meaning it's not mine to give to anyone i so please this principle of life is better than saying if you wear this you will go to hell you back up your words with words of wisdom there is no child you give this breakdown like this that will not understand you but when you concentrate on making everything sin. This is sin, that is sin, the other one is sin. Then they'll just feel everything is sin. Your God is unpleasable. Then we are all sinners. Let's just live our life in the sin. When you back up the word of God with wisdom, even when you're not that word will abide in them even when you are not there it will never depart from them 
Thank you so much for joining me on today's podcast or video. And see you in the part two on how the lost India mission. <laughs>